FIFO Life on Red FM, and I'm chatting with Alex from Chesswork Group today. Now, mate, last week we talked about continuing on after you've been burnt, and you shared a story of when you were burnt in a particular situation and you did lose money. When this happened to you, was there a particular avenue you could take in order to recoup funds? To be honest, and this was another lesson I learned because I yep. actually went in with uh, two other people, um, and I wanted to hold on. Yep. Right. I wanted to hold on to the property and just kind of rent it out and just kind of go. Yep. Other people uh, in the it, it had different ideas, and because we're all in it together, it's like okay, so forced to sell, mm-hmm. and then we sold at a loss. Right. So which I didn't want to do. Yep. But on the flip side, um, those losses were were carried forward. Um, so those carry forward losses, and again, consult your accountant. They can tell you all about it. Um, but if you make another capital gain in the future, you mm-hmm. can actually carry those losses forward to offset any gains that you make later on. Okay, so that's one positive within the negative. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's one positive within the negative. Um, but like I said, I mean, at the time, it's like, you know, it, it, and I understand it's it's one of those things where, you know, it, it can demotivate you. You can get to that point where you just think, and you start blaming yourself. You start saying, oh, I'm just an idiot. You know, uh, what am I doing? Um, I've just, you know, I'm not, I've had enough. And it doesn't matter how it comes down. I mean, I know I sit down in front of people that have been burnt with, you know, um, say property spookers, you know, They've come in, they've sat down with them, told them, yeah, you should buy this property out in, you know, Mackay or yeah, yeah. Karratha or whatever. And uh, all of a sudden, the house, you know, isn't even worth, you know, half of what they paid for it. Mm-hmm. That's a really bitter pill to swallow. It rips at, at your heart. But at the same time, uh, you know, what I call ostrich syndrome, you know, sticking your head in the sand and just like, you know, forgetting all about it isn't going to be a solution either. Definitely. And I guess with our audience, um, everybody listening would have maybe been burnt with the property market in the Northwest or they know someone who has. If they have had a drama like that, is it best to speak to someone like yourself or what's the best way to sort of move forward? Yeah, look, I, I, I would say it's always good to get as many opinions as you can. Like mm-hmm. uh, talk to your accountant. I mean, talk to you know professional like myself financial planner uh basically get some ideas out there i mean this is the world of information that we have right now the worst thing you can do is just not seek any advice at all and look for some people out there bankruptcy is actually a viable option when yeah. you when you look at it you know and and it's a and again it's a it's something where i came across a client recently um, and they had two properties in Karatha. Basically, long story short, bought them for five hundred each. They're now worth two fifty each, mm. um, and then had drummed up, you know, some other debts with business. It, like it, it was a whole mess. And I said, look, I don't like you know su- suggesting this, but you know, if even if the properties go back up to this, you know, the level where you bought them, and you can finally you know get your business back on track it's going to take you 50 years to pay it all off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So this is a time where you think to yourself, do you know what? It, this is this is probably a time where you should consider bankruptcy and instead of trying to fight back, you know, from a million dollars worth of debt and trying to get that under control, mm. it's actually go, do you know what? Let's go bankrupt, go back to zero and build from zero. Yep. Um, so look, it's all dependent on a person's situation and, you know, look, I mean, I can talk, uh, generically, you know, but at the end of the day, if you, if you're finding yourself in trouble, seek some advice, go and talk to people, go and talk to your accountant, go and talk to a financial planner, um, and, and work it out because at the end of the day, it, it, it more often than not, it, in fact, I would say just about every time it, it is a recoverable, mm-hmm. um, you know, there is a way to kind of make things good again, but you're not going to do that if you just don't do anything. Well, Alex, you've got an ebook, mate. If people want to know more information, what's the best way they can get that? Yeah, you can uh, get on the website. It's chessworkgroup.com.au. Uh, and there's two ebooks there, actually. There's one for property investing and one for home loans. Uh, and just enter your details and we'll send you out a free ebook. Alex from Chesswork Group, thank you very much, mate. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. So once again, if you want to get a hold of Alex's eBooks, head to chessworkgroup.com.au and you can download them there. That's it for FIFO Life today. We'll be back next week. It's Robbie saying, see you later.